Hi, today what we're going to do is these three types of tea. We have the PVC tea, carbon steel, and GI threaded. First, let's make this PVC tea. Change the view to top view. And then make circle with a diameter of 217 units. And then copy this by 46 units. Make sure that your auto is on. And then make circle again with a diameter of 203 units. Move that circle by 14 units. Okay, so we are doing this part. Use the loft command, click the two circles, and then press pull from here until this center point. Go to front view, and then copy this. And then rotate we make line from here this must be 192 until here then move this until here Then make line here from the center point. Then mirror this one. Then no. Okay, make sure that the center to center distance is 192. Two to seven minus one hundred ninety two thirty five units. Let's bring this down by thirty five units. Thirty five. Okay. And then now, press pull this area until this center point, and then this area until this center. Okay, and then make line, and then go to union, select all, enter, and then go to solid, shell, Click the click our object and then click these three areas. Enter offset distance that is the thickness, the distance is seven. Okay, so this is our PBC and then fillet edge, click this corner and this corner. The radius is 20 units and then for the carbon steel go to home click the working plane to right plane make circle with a diameter of 168 units And then copy from here uh, 143 and then copy again by 143 then rotate from here to here move this by 143 okay and then now press pull And then union command, enter, and then solid, I mean solid, and then shell, click the solid, 
click this areas enter and then the offset distance is 7 units also that's the thickness of our pipe and then fillet edge click this corner this corner and then radius of 20 units okay so this is our GI I mean this is our carbon steel T for the GI thread let's just copy this one and then make line go to home change the working plane to right plane make circle with a diameter of 208 units and then copy by 50 units and then copy again to here then rotate move this from here to here okay so the distance between the center points is 160 go to front view so from here to here it must be 160 so this is 39 minus 160 179 move this by 179 160 then from here to here 193 sum of this by 33 units copy this no click this object enter and then select this planar object click the circle enter then remove again object enter planar object select the circle enter remove this slice select the object enter planar object and then select the 2d circle enter okay and then make another circle change the working plane to right plane first make another circle with a diameter of 168 units then copy and then press pull these circles from here to this quadrant same with this and same with this copy rotate and then move from here to here and then move make sure that your ortho is on and then press pull from here until this and then press pull until here and then use the subtract command take this enter and then click this object so you have an opening here again as you to subtract click this and this enter and then select this solid object okay and then for the thread as you can see here we have a thread inside x-ray we have a inside thread okay shaded for that one we will use this circle type helix enter and then click this point change the view to right plane okay click this point the base radius click this quadrant and then he's asking for the top radius also click this quadrant again and then click anywhere here and then go to properties 
to change the helix let's make the height as 50 and then the number of terms will be 5 close and then at this point we will make a polygon with three sides we'll make a triangle inscribe in a circle with the radius of six units and then rotate move okay and then use the sweep command to make the thread select this triangle enter click this alignment and then no and then select this, this, the, the helix okay copy this rotate and then move from the center to the center okay go to front view move the helix until somewhere here and then copy this until here and then move this one until here and then use the subtract command as you click this object enter and then click the thread enter again then as you can see we have a thread inside okay so so uh, we have to delete these 2d lines and then union okay so we have the pvc pvc carbon steel and gi threaded okay so to make it more presentable go to material browser type orange for pvc and then metal Let's try this ionized blue gray and then ionize and then this ionized gray for the GI. Okay. So this is our final design for the PVCT carbon steel and GI threaded. If you like this video, Please remember to subscribe to my channel for more 3D tutorial videos. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.